Welcome back to the Christian Meditation Podcast and the Recenter with Christ app, episode 532. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. A guided Christian meditation on 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. My name is Chaplain Jared, and I do this podcast to help you find more peace in your life by connecting with the true source of peace, who is Jesus Christ. And I hope that you can use the two different styles of podcasts that I do. One of them, like this one, is a full guided Lectio Divina style meditation. The other ones are freeform style, which will have more open space, but use them according to your own needs. In this moment now, let us dedicate our entire hearts to the Lord and that we can set apart this time just for that. God, bless us in this moment now as we focus on your word, as we focus on meditating on your word. Fill us with your calm, your peace, and help that your words will arrive into our minds, our hearts, and our souls to guide us forward towards the direction you want us to go. In Jesus' name, amen. In this moment, embrace the peace of the Lord. Embrace the calming spirit that he offers. Place your trust in him that there is nothing so great that he can't overcome. Within the confines of our life, our concerns seem very grand indeed. However, in this eternal perspective, all of these things will be but a moment. Trust in God and his goodness. Trust that he will care for you as he always has and always will. Trust that no matter what you have done, that you will know and you will feel and you will experience the grace of Christ as you embrace him as your Savior. As you comfortably rest where you're at right now, I invite you to embrace that feeling of peace into your heart, into your breathing also. With the rise and fall of your breath, I invite you to take that breath all the way into your belly, slowly and gently. As you place your confidence in the Lord, your tension around breathing and just living dissipates as you trust in Him. He is the breath of life, the pure water who cleans us inside and out. Embrace that purifying breath in your life, in your body. May it rinse out that tension that you feel and may you harmlessly exhale it as you place your trust in God.
you feel restful and open to receive God's word. Trust in him now. Trust that he desires the best for you and can guide you to it. In this beautiful Easter season, may we now turn our attention to the scriptures that prophesy of him. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. First, from the King James Version. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, which also you have received, and we are in the stand by which you also are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that in Christ For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Continue reflecting on this scripture now. I invite you now to ponder more on this scripture. And now from the NIV. Now I want you to understand, brothers and sisters, the good news that I proclaimed to you, which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I hand it on to you as of importance what I in turn have received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures and that he was buried and he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. That Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures.
Happy Easter, y'all. We celebrate today as the victory of Christ over the grave. And what a victory it is. It is the good news. It's the best news. We can trust in the testimony of Paul. He saw the risen Lord. Stand strong in that faith and remain in that faith. There's so much power in this testimony. And what is equally important is that it was foretold. Many prophecies were filled in his birth, life, ministry, death, and eventual triumphant resurrection. Hold fast to your faith in Christ. That faith is not and will not be in vain as we hold tight to it. Faith in the true God is never wasted. Our faith is not in vain if we hold fast to it. Spend a moment now and rejoice in the faith that you have in Jesus. Dear God, in this moment, we lift the intentions of our hearts up to you. We rejoice in the victory of Christ over the grave. We give gratitude for the love and compassion you extend to us by making this available. Help that we will appropriately be able to rejoice in the magnitude of this day, the magnitude of this memory of the victory of Easter, mixed with the tragedy inspire our minds and hearts to fully understand what you need us to get from this to this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Now for the next few moments, just sit in contemplative silence before the Lord.
Now, summarize and visualize. I want you to summarize what you've learned or experienced here and then visualize how you can use that information or that experience to move into the future. Thank you for joining me today, as always. Uh, My hope is that this podcast will help you in drawing closer to God or experiencing Him closer in your life as you turn to Him. You can find out more information about the podcast by going to christianmeditationpodcast.com. If you find value in the messages contained in this podcast, I invite you to share it with those that you care about or that you think would enjoy it and benefit from it. You can do that the way you found it or share the free iOS and Android app called Recenter with Christ. Easter is the most important celebration in the Christian calendar. It's a time when we recognize the overcoming of sin, the victory of Christ in all things. May you be encouraged by that. May you be strengthened by that message. May it draw you closer to the ideals God has for you and help you overcome the struggles that are in your life. And you can recognize that as such. This I say in Jesus' name, amen.